And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for another Saltwater Scourge adventure. This time we're going to try with Misfortune and we're also going to try to speedrun Misfortune. I know my thumbnail says walkthrough because that's just the thumbnail that I had. Um, but I guess it'll be a speed run walkthrough for Misfortune in this new Lab of Legends mode. Uh, yesterday we played Tom Kench and Twisted Fate in the Lab of Legends, and those videos are up on YouTube for those of y'all watching later if you want to check those out. We're going to try Misfortune now, and basically you can see these different icons. They're like badges. These are achievement badges that you have with the champions. Um, the one on the left is skill, and it's for how many times you died. If you die zero times, you get an A, and that's what I did with each one of these. We died zero times, so we got an A. I don't know how you get an S badge, because I don't know how you die less than zero times. That doesn't make too much sense. The one on the right that these all have is how much gold you end up with at the end of your run. If you uh, This one was an S tier. Um, I had like 1,400 and something. These were A tiers. They, I had like 1,300 something. So I don't know the exact number. Maybe it's 1,400 that you have to have over to be able to get the S tier instead of A tier. That would be my guess. And then, because I, so I did miss, I, we, we recorded the Tom Kench and Twisted Fate yesterday for YouTube, put those up. And last night, I was just having fun. I just played a Misfortune one. And I got this, I got a middle badge. Um, achievement badge and this was for time that's what it said there and it, I completed the misfortune run in 47 minutes and I got this B um, for the badge there for 47 minutes so I don't know how much time it's got to be for an A A tier or S tier I don't know we're actually going to try here I had a really crazy good misfortune deck I was kind of um, just doing other stuff though also I wasn't just only playing the game and, and uh, I, I can't imagine we're going to get as good of a deck as I had last night but I, w I wish I would have just like really focused on on trying to beat it as fast as possible last night because I could have done that because I had uh, my secondary champion was Sivir and then I had the uh, plus two plus two on a Sivir so it was a seven five but then I also got the power or then I also gave Sivir scout so you know with misfortune having Sivir have scout that's great I also had the power for round start rally so then I had my round start rally with my Sivir and then we gave then I got the power where they get all of my all of my units get plus one plus one for each keyword that you have so therefore the sivir now had you know got another plus two plus two and then whenever sivir leveled up and have had you attack with sivir and it gives all of your other units its keywords they gave all of those another plus i guess plus three plus three right because yeah because spell shield and scout and um quick attack so it was like 10 power and then, like, my very last power was give all of my stuff Overwhelm. So now that Sivir was, like, 11 power and Overwhelm and Scout and Round Start Rally, and yeah, that, those games ended super fast. So I wish I would have really tried for time. I didn't I didn't realize that speedrunning gave you a badge, of course. So I wish I would have done that yesterday. But that's what we're going to try to fix today. Let's see, um, uh, you know, what we can do. So yeah, once we start playing, I probably won't be explaining as much. I'm going to be kind of clicking through and uh, trying to uh, defeat this as fast as possible. Now, I, I don't think that if we just go straight to Gangplank and, um, and you know, ignore a lot of other stuff and just go straight to Gangplank, I don't know if we'll be able to have a powerful enough deck to defeat Gangplank. So I think we're still going to have to uh, defeat some other enemies along the way to get a more powerful deck to be able to defeat Gangplank. Because that's, that's going to be tricky, you know, having a powerful enough deck to defeat Gangplank at the end while still trying to not spend much time. So that's, there we go. That's a good intro to what we're doing. Sure you can handle me. Let's see if we can handle this. Here we go. If, when Sivir, if Sivir has Scout and is leveled up, um, it does not give your other things Scout also. Like it doesn't work. Um, you have to just only attack with your, your uh, Sivir first. It sees like all the other thing not have Scout. Alright, first battle against Sanctum Conservator. I didn't really take a look at the map too much. I just kind of chose this one because um, there's like a treasure chest on the other side and as y'all know for just playing any video game ever, finding treasure chests is always good. Good. I need you to be quick. Without me, there's plenty of killing left. 
All right, good start. Basically the ideal start. And then we'll have Misfortune. And then we'll have Island Navigator next round. Uh, Herman says, do you get something when you have all three badges on a champion? No. No, you don't get anything in particular. It's just just like a thing to show off or just, you know, like a, it's a goal to try to get, you know, to go towards and stuff like that. But you don't, you don't get any specific prizes or anything in your account for it. So many blockers. I'm gonna have to wait till next round to attack and kill them. I guess that's all they're doing is just playing <laughs> zero health blockers. Oh, that thing's bigger. Why I'm waiting on them. Always forward. Humble yourself. Just think that maybe they'll play like, you know, the two oh, more matter. one health things. Was my end, okay, they didn't. Oh, Alright, this should be lethal. Me. Okay. First one gone. It still took a little while for us to beat that. It was like three minutes. That's why I'm the captain. I don't know, I'll just get Fizz. Fizz seems like a good aggressive card to have. Alright, we've reached level two, we get another champion. Uh none of these are oh, we didn't get a very good champion. I guess. Ash. Oh man, I don't know. I gotta, I gotta choose fast. But, um, well, you know what? Let's take Thresh. Thresh gives us Blighted Caretaker. Blighted Caretaker could be awesome. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't love any of those. Oh, just some gold. That's just gonna give me a shop. I guess we need to go this way, don't we? Yeah, I guess we're going to have to go that way. I'll go ahead and defeat this guy real quick. Thresh is slow. Uh, yeah, I was thinking maybe you get... I mean, all three of them are slow, right? Like, Ezreal is slow. I guess Ash... But at least... At least Thresh you get... Um, Light of Caretaker. So I liked that. Also, Crumble could be real useful. Just, you know, having like that kind of removal spell could definitely be really useful. Stop nabbing my stuff. I ain't afraid. <laughs> Thanks, Fizz. Glad you're not afraid. Ah, they took a fleeting crumble. Don't think they're playing that. So 13. I don't have lethal. Three, six, seven. Yeah, I don't have lethal, but I guess I just. I don't know. It's, it's probably better to just play this than play hard gun. Oh no! No, my misfortune. Hell of a day. Who's on top of the bounty board today? Alright, they down to five. Cool, monster harpoon. If this was like a big a bigger threat, I would have um, monster harpooned it. And then we're just going to attack. Eyes up here, or I'll cut him out. Hard to get rich. Yes, 
I assume this will do it. Yep, that should do it. Oh, wait. Still lethal. Alright. Yeah, I think the AI just always is always just auto attacks. So I don't know if it like counts like all this time. Bone skewer, Evershade Stalker, or Honored Lord. None of these are that good. I, I guess Honored Lord. Maybe we can have like a vulnerable thing with the Honored Lord. Oh, power. Okay, allies have plus one, plus one for each keyword. Yes. Round start refill your spell mana is also really good. But evolution, it's usually good to take the epics. But ev evolution has a lot of potential. We're going to have to get some keywords. Um, when I'm summoned, heal your nexus. When cast, heal your nexus. When I'm summoned or destroyed, heal your nexus. Okay, a bunch of heal your nexus. We'll take Neverglade Collector. All right. Yeah, evolution can be nuts. That's true, they, they hate attacking into barrier. Alright, so I have the attack token round one, they have zero mana round one. Higher gun. Who's on top of the bounty board today? I don't know, maybe I should be saving the two mana for a make it rain. Wasn't sure which one to do. Fortune favors the bold. I've worked out something special. I'm coming in. You got legs. Use them. Love ya. Alright, so they're down to two. So close. Alright, we'll take that. Bounty ball knows me nice. And open attack. Close it out. There we go. I didn't even get to play a monkey idol. That's why I'm the captain. I don't... Second history, I have no idea what you're talking about. Honestly, I don't... I don't know what you mean. I'll just take this Lucky Find. Lucky Find could be good with Fizz. Tougher Higher Gun. Elusive Sumpworks Map. Let's get Tough Hired Gun. I guess, yeah, Sumpworks Map also. Because again, keywords are good with uh, us having that ability of all of our things with, with keywords get plus one, plus one. Do you need like an invite into the Discord server, Second History? right there. Alright, Prowling Cutthroat's a 3-3 three, three with, with keywords. So good. Looking Misfortune. It found you. Open wide, should love ya. Hey. 
Alright, they're at five. Oh, well, we could play this Chum the Waters. It's a 6 3 Overwhelm. It seems pretty big. Alright, and open attack. To close out the game. I think we're at about 11 minutes right now. I don't know if I'm going to make it faster than the 47. We got a pretty bad secondary champion. Krusty Codger with Challenger, yes. It's a 3 3 Challenger. Alright, we've reached level 4. What do we get? Um, let's go with tough. Over Spell Shield. The keyword already gives it plus one, plus one, again, so, like, just giving giving stuff keywords is good. So, like, we don't need to choose the plus one, plus one, because now just giving it tough also gives it plus one, plus one. Profit Seekers. Maybe we should keep that Chum the Waters. Oh, lucky find. Go overwhelm. All right, Fizz being a three-two overwhelm. Whoa, another lucky find. We're getting pretty lucky over here. Get another keyword. Looks like Challenger's the keyword. Another. Lucky find. Looking for trouble. It found you. Alright, we'll go with you. Attack. Alright, that was a fast one. The profit seekers. Just giving us lucky finds all the time. Yes, yes, please. Can we keep facing that opponent? Just get all the lucky vines? That was pretty lucky. Um, I guess we gotta choose one of these. We'll take the el elusive overwhelm. Okay, if we go deep, we get a treasure. In this battle, we speed run in. Get rid of five mana cards. Get more five mana cards. Crusty Codger pretty big. Ooh. Give me the stuff! Stuff make happy! Our no um, saplings that we create are going to be 3 2 challengers. Because they got keywords, they get plus one, plus one. Oh, I probably should have... I should have set it up so they don't get it tossed so much, but... Oh, well. I'm not planning on this game lasting too much longer. So, Neverglade Collector, we heal our Nexus for five. What would be the best possible power, probably, is finding a... Um... Oh, I should have let that strike me first. A new seed! Is finding like a welcome gift to give all of our stuff more keywords.
Olivia. Okay. Moving on. So far, so good, I think. Love having this evolution power, but the, the Thresh secondary champion wasn't great. Uh, none of these are very good. I guess... I guess the Dreadway with Barrier, if we end up getting to that part of the game, like 8 mana, it will be good. Ooh. These are good. Um, I can only choose one of these. Man, these are all good. I guess this Honored Lord. Give Honored Lord Challenger. Alright, let's see what's over here first. Plunder costs three less when cast draw a card. Man, these aren't very good. These are not. I gotta take. You gotta take one, though. Yeah, these aren't very good. I guess I'll take the box. Maybe if, if we're behind, we need the box. Okay, but it costs two more, but this will be a 5-5 five, five challenger. So basically a 6-6 six, six challenger, or higher gun gets regen. Okay, I'm, I'm having higher gun get regen, and now let's get a lot of these higher guns with regen. Okay, oh, Cutthroat can have barrier? Oh, I don't have the, don't have the coins? Oh, Cutthroat can have barrier? All right, we need more coins, we need to come back here. Cutthroat with barrier is awesome because then it then cutthroat's a 4-4 four, four, elusive i guess only a barrier for just one round bubble bear bubble bear bubble bear is so much fun to say what a terrible hand for us. This is as bad as a hand as we can get. Yuck. Oh my gosh. What a terrible hand. Alright, misfortune save in it. Love we'll just cast one of these the boxes. Sorry, Bubble Bear. Like a fish in water. <laughs> nothing else to do. <laughs> oh man, this was a bad hand. They're going to play something, right? Yeah, they play something. I don't like that Chum the Waters. That Chum the Waters can actually kill my misfortune. Don't get to attack the misfortune. Mm. I think he's just about to level up too. It was just one round away from leveling up. Order pretty big. Man, this is a bad hand for us. This is our way. All right, fresh. Yeah, Thresh is at four out of six. Thresh 
Hey, there's the Dreadway. I was hoping they would block with something else, and then maybe play another thing like where that I could the box kill that thing. Yeah, we're gonna try an auction abyss with yeah being able to buff all the champions. All right, this should finish out the game. <laughs> Just a little fizz. All right. That game took a lot longer than normal. He had a terrible hand. I don't, I don't want any of these. We have to take one though, but I don't want one. All right, deep meditation. I don't know, this thing was spell shield, I guess. All right, level five, what do we get? We get a power. Raise my power to match my health. So now I get plus one, plus one this round. When you damage an enemy, you reduce... Blah, blah. I guess this rushed them down. Can we cut some cards? We can cut the box. The box is actually kind of decent for us. That last round. What can we cut over here? The Neverglade Collector or the Blighted Caretaker. Hmm. I could see cutting Neverglade Collector. Both players start summoning Emperor's Dies. Emperor's Die is going to be good for us. Because it'll be whenever we summon something, it gets the plus one, plus one. So our Sand Soldiers will have plus one, plus one. Make it rain. Honor Lord. Honor Lord has the support. Give something plus one, plus one. And our, our Honor Lords are Pretty powerful. Mm. I'm one of the good guys, but not that. I know what I'm doing. Sharpen my blade for you. Okay, we can take the hit. Then next round. Or, like, you know, we'll go to the healer after this game. Alright, so this is only 8 damage. Oh, I should just play the Mega Rain first, because then it gives the Fizz Elusive for another plus one, plus one. Okay. I should have just done that during combat. For that. Oh well. I don't know if it really would have saved too much time. It's been about the same amount of time. Jagged Taskmaster. Yeah. Yeah. With Challenger. I don't know, this thing? Yeah, Taskmaster. Okay, let's see if we got some stuff to buy. 
Okay, just lose a health for more make it rains. Oh, for cutting a card. Cut the crumble? No, I don't really, I don't really need to cut any of those. Those are actually good cards. Support for Krusty Conjure. I want more Krusty Codgers. Okay. Let's go to the healer. I think I we're going to try skipping this battle. So we're, we're skipping a battle. I'm not... I'm trying to do most of the battles, as you can tell, because I want to make sure that we... We're, we have to, like... We're, we need to, like, walk the tightrope of being powerful enough to be able to defeat Gangplank, yet still get to Gangplank as fast as possible. And we have a... <laughs> Unfortunately, with, like, the whole cutting cards thing, it's, like, never, like, the cards that I want to cut. Keeper's been good. That's, that's a nice Doom Keeper for them. Oh, I should I should have supported the other way. You never forgot us. We will not forget you. No prey. Go to council. Guess. That's the way to kill the devoted council. The strong don't want mercy. The box is gonna be really nice against a whole bunch of sand soldiers, which they could play right here. Our city shines once more. Doesn't look like they are though. Okay. So we'll have Three blockers, of course, those blockers will die. So it's like basically just leveling up my Thresh. Love ya. But they don't take any damage. Zero isn't always the easiest thing to defeat because of that. Where you're at two attacks. Let's get another scout thing in here. I guess I could have crumbled first. Alright, maybe I should just be open attacking instead of scout attack. But scout attack lets me level up the misfortune. I'm gonna scout attack. Jerima, your emperor has returned. Alright, let's see what champion we put into play. Could be another misfortune. Hopefully is. Yes, because that overwhelm. 
We don't get, okay, you don't get another um, bullet time with the second misfortune because it comes in kind of after we attacked. It's taking too long because all these movies and then these slow arise. Why don't you just play the bleeding one? Oh, we... Okay, yeah, we just had the one. Okay. Alright, Azir has been defeated. What's up, Saigumba? Yeah, we speed run in. Trying. Our deck's not the best. It's alright, we got the evolution keyword. That's like the best thing we've gotten so far. I don't like any of these. Plunder a cost three less. For two mana for that. No, actually, okay, the Ragnarok Horror is going to be good. Never mind, Horror is good. Alright, what can we do here? What can we cut? Crumble or Razor Skill Hunter? This can get me to two different shops. Or maybe, maybe like, a good free card. And then... Because I think that we want to be, like, around level 7. We get that extra power at level 7. To be able to take on... Um... Gangplank. Oh, man. Payday could do something, I suppose. <laughs> get physics keyword. Oh, I could have done it the other way. <laughs> I could have dealt one more damage to them, basically. This has support. Like, this is basically War Chefs, also. Hello, world. I'm Saifa. Cool, good to know. Alright, I'll just play these spells on this round. Alright, so Lucky Find. Let's buff up you. With... Quick attack. Then I'm gonna sump works map you. They will sing of our you won't leave us crack. Are you afraid of anything, Kadira? You're navel gazing? Because it never ends! Whoa, that thing's big. That thing's big. We have a couple healers, though. No honor in this. Mm. Yeah, you skip the unnecessary battles. I'm worried that I, I won't have a powerful enough deck to defeat Gangplank if I skip the unnecessary battles. That's what I'm worried about. in trouble. Oh, I did that so that, that then my the box would cost one less, but right, it's a thresh, so it just turns back into thresh. Okay, I'm actually in trouble. Little busy 
Man, I'm actually in trouble here. No, so I don't know what time is required for S. Did you get, you said you completed it once at 37 minutes. Did you get a, like, what did you get? So you got an A, I'm guessing, at 37 minutes? The ocean charts our course. Fizz? Thirty seven was A. I did forty seven and it was B. So somewhere in there is the difference between those two. Fortune favors the bold. The ocean is no place for the leaf. Swim quickly, little fish. Okay. Okay, we're we're not in trouble anymore, but my time, yeah, like we're we've taken way too long to complete this. <laughs> our deck's just not very good. Our secondary champion wasn't very good, and we have gotten some bad draws too. So unfortunately, it's it's already been like 39 minutes <laughs> already still. So our speed run isn't going to go isn't going to be too effective. Okay, so let's let's just you know defeat, try to defeat Gangplank as fast as we can. More jagged butchers. All right, so we got to level six. Um, we can give. Fizz spell shield just to have more fizz. Didn't I already check these? No, I did not. Oh, scout. Yes, please. Scout cutthroat. Thank you. Can I purchase more scout somewhere? Or more uh, cutthroat somewhere? All right, these are not worth it. I think I could purchase more Cutthroat somewhere. I think maybe up here. Why no Iceborne Gauntlet? Cutthroats. There we go. Now our deck's a lot better. Get these Cutthroats in here. Let me get more of these things. I don't know. There's... Just the, the Iceborne card with the gauntlet. Maybe we could have that. I wanted to use. I wanted to use, save my gold for for more cutthroats. All right, try to get as many cutthroats as we can. Cutthroats will end the game real fast now. With Scout. Cutthroat. No cutthroats. Why do we always have all of our cards that cost five or more? <laughs> we just keep on drawing all expensive cards. We we are really bad at getting our one and two drops. Hey, there's a one drop. We have Krusty Codger. So a round one cutthroat is gonna be a six six. Oh, that's a good card. 
Yeah, round one Cutthroat would be a 6-6 a six, six elusive scout. Um, Looking for trouble. Could attack and then play Jagged Master Fizz, but... We'll get Misfortune in play. This time, at least, we got a little bit more of our one ones and two drops. Total high. Time for violence. Hmm. Yeah, has anybody got S in the skill category? Like where if you don't die, if you don't die, you get an A in the skill category. So I don't know how you get I don't know how you get an S. Then it doesn't. It doesn't seem like like you can die less than one time. These absolvers. Okay, you have to not die and not use any heals. That's how you get the S. No heals, no die. Okay. That makes sense. Why they didn't just get the frozen thrall out? Okay, that'll take care of that one. I don't want any. Let's see where in these chests. Um, no, thank you. The never get that lich's bane that's a good buff All right, we need to draw our ones and twos <laughs> it's funny the fizz, fizz is actually kind of like our worst one drop Not giving anything vulnerable, but still, these higher guns are pretty big. I think they're worth playing. Think 
Don't hurt them. Sorry, Fizz. Oh wait, what? Time to make some coin. Okay. It's just for this round. No prey. No pay. Hmm. That's still really annoying. It's still really annoying. I kind of assume they want to trade there. Yeah. Love ya. At least they don't have a follower to steal <laughs> now. Tough. Everyone's a garden. They grow up so fast. Hunter is... Oh. Is this leveled up? Yes. Alright, Hunter is a scout, so we can play that you know, this next round and level up the misfortune with it. Can't play it this round, of course. Loaded dice. Only that's doing much. Love ya. All eyes on me. Okay. Not bad. That that was kind of stressful at the beginning, but still not too bad. I think we're getting ready for gangplank. That's how we do things in Bilgewater. We're going straight to gangplank now. Summons when I'm summoned, the strongest enemy and I strike each other. When you cast a spell, reduce my cost by one. I'll just take the Steel Tempest. All right, level seven, get another power. Challenger, Emperor's Dice, damage the enemy nexus. Start with the Emperor's dies. I don't know. It's like Challenger gives it like plus one plus one and Challenger because you know like that gets the plus one plus one for the keyword. The Siren. We want minus two cost on the Siren. It already has Scout. Maybe I should be capturing an enemy though with it. That's actually probably the better thing is to capture an enemy. All right, we'll cut Island Navigator. Sorry, Island Navigator, you're just too expensive. We will cut. Razor Scale Hunter. Sorry, Razor Scale Hunter is too expensive again. I need more ones and twos. But I am getting rid of some of my scouts. But tired of drawing all these fours and fives and stuff. We really didn't get a good secondary champion with getting Thresh. Just a 
40 life. It's gonna take us some time to get down to 40, from 40 life. So many powder kegs. I want to play Misfortune, but that's so many powder kegs. May need to just attack and try to blow those things up. Yeah, that's too many powder kegs. So their gangplank's leveled up. Trim the mainsail and raise anchor. Okay, this siren's pretty awesome. Summon two more powder kegs. That's not good. Speed. I guess. Yeah, I'll do this. Okay, awesome. Okay, this is working out. They're down to 10. Oh, this could be bad. All right, so they get they get a Dreadway. And I need this Make It Rain to hit the Powder Cake, right? Because they can attack with Gangplank and like kill all of my stuff with having Dreadway plus Gangplank. So they can kill like everything. So we have this has to hit. Deal ten to a unit. I mean, honestly, that's. Oh, but then they get ten more powder kegs. I guess that's the problem. Wait, that's actually kind of fine because then with the ten more powder kegs. My writing. Now I can actually have the box kill that. These are both slow speed. So we can try this first. And it, yeah, good thing, because that, that would have missed. Be nothing left when I'm done. Just the screams of a giant. Their bones are splinter. Make it worth my while. Well, we do not have very much life left. Our own the dreadway. I need to kill them. Mm. No. I was feeling pretty good about killing them until that the box. That was the card they nabbed from me. Oh, that's such a good nab. All right, actually, we're still good. Because yeah, now the misfortune's doubled. All right, we did it. 
So we didn't really speedrun very well. It took 57 minutes. We didn't have. We just didn't have a very good deck. We really didn't. And we also never really drew that well. Like our deck is filled with prowling cutthroats, for example. All those last games, like we never even drew prowling cutthroat ever. And don't we have a bunch of prowling cutthroats in our deck? That are like really incredible, and we can never find one. All right, so we did defeat the gangplank, but we did not speed run too well. We got a B. Okay, so 42 minutes. That's not that's not that bad. 42 minutes. Looks like we just didn't get. <laughs> we got really bad gold rating, I guess. Yeah, we have five prowling cutthroats in the deck. Each prowling cutthroat would have scout and barrier and fearsome and elusive and so with like the the plus one plus one for every single thing that you have um you know like this this thing would have been huge plus it would get the plus one plus one whenever you you played it this thing would have like attacked for a bunch and been you know obviously elusive with scout this would have killed people really fast but we had five of them never found them three crusty codgers three jagged butchers the five cutthroats and we were not drawing our one drops at all Hardly any two drops also, even though we had six hired guns. The thing is, is like every game we just had these cards. These We had all the Neverglade Collectors and Thresh and Monster Harpoon and Terror the Dreadway. We had those cards all the time. But not, not, even, we really weren't drawing these things, even though that was most of our deck. So, you know, that's going to happen. That's going to happen sometimes. So it took, it took us longer. So we only got 42 minutes. Um, 42 minutes is still my fastest so far, because this is the first time that I tried it for speed. So. Alright, there we go. That was our, uh, Misfortune speedrun. So now, at least I got a video for each one of the three champions up on YouTube. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button, and feel free to leave those comments and let me know, uh, how you're doing with the speedruns, if you have gotten um any other one so i guess like the thing is you, so you try to get like an s tier for all three champions that's going to be difficult that's going to be really difficult getting an s tier tom kench twisted fate deck that are going for the speed run with with those that's going to be pretty difficult that really is you're gonna have to get a great run so uh good to know though that was that was fun all right anyway the, uh thank you so much for watching some misfortune um saltwater scourge adventure i love playing these things hopefully y'all enjoy watching them as well leave those comments and let me know how you're doing with them and if you're if you've been getting s tiers if you got any any um tips for anybody else trying to get like these s tiers for the different champions um you know throw those tips down in the comment section those are always very very helpful and uh, much appreciated but as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video